Hey guys, what's up? It's Sammy, and welcome back to another haul video. As you know, I am planning a family vacation to San Diego, and this is technically part two of the hauls for clothing and stuff that I am bringing on that vacation. Part one was mostly swimsuits, and I will link it down in the description below, but I just wanted to say thank you to Shein for providing me with more clothes and stuff to create content with. I will leave it up to you and your morals whether you want to shop at Shein. I am not here to judge anyone. I am I'm not here to force my own personal beliefs on anyone. And I also believe that it is up to your own knowledge of your own finances to decide whether or not you shop at places like Shein, Forever 21, H&M, and stuff like that. But with that disclaimer out of the way, I am doing today's haul a little bit different, just a little bit. I am actually going to be trying on the clothes in sort of like outfits and showing them to you that way because I am trying to decide which of these clothes I'm actually going to pack on my San Diego trip because as you know, I'm not bringing a suitcase, I'm packing everything in a duffel. So we have to be very picky choosy with what we bring. So I'm doing like a sort of stand up, try on talking type video. If you actually like how I end up doing this haul and you want me to do more of my hauls without like, you know, I usually hold up the clothes and talk about them and then do a silent try on while overlaid while I'm talking about them. But if you like it more of me actually trying on and explaining what I don't and do like about the piece while they are on my body, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know that. So without further ado, let's skip to me standing up in front of my front door. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Okay, let's get started with the first two pieces from Shein. Now I'm doing it like this even though I couldn't get my like full body in the camera just because of like the lens that I have for my new camera. I only have one lens and it's not like a wide angle lens. Okay, it is, but it's not like a super wide angle lens. So you're gonna just like see the outfits from here up, but luckily I only got two bottoms and one of them is a short skirt. So I think it should be okay. The first thing we're trying on is this squirt. You can see it's shorts in the back. I got this in a size 1XL. It is from the Shein Curve range. I also got this like ruched little summery top from the Shein Curve range in a size 0XL. So let's try it on. Okay, I have to say I'm obsessed with this. The skirt is actually too big, but if I tie it tighter, which I like that it's kind of adjustable. I mean, it really isn't. You're not meant to tie this tie this tight because you get some like buckling. If you see me looking over here, it's because I have a full length mirror right here next to me. Overall, I think the skirt is really flattering. I am not gonna turn around anymore because I have a spider bite on my leg that is very graphic looking, but I think the shorts are a good length. You know, once the spider bite is healed, I think it's a spider bite at least. The way it hurts, it has to be a spider bite. Whoa. The top is really cute as well. I would definitely say that it runs small though, because in what world is this a 0XL? I like that you can change the like ruching on it. You could also wear it like this without any ruching, but I feel like that doesn't do the boobs anything. So like a little ruching is one there full. I am trying to style some of these outfits for San Diego, so I would probably wear, I'd probably wear it like this, to be more casual, my Lululemon like uh, crescent bag, my Ray-Bans. I also got these sandals from Shein. They are a size eight. I always get my shoes a size bigger in Shein sizes because they tend to run small. These are a little big, um, but not big enough that they're like a true size eight, I feel. For size reference, I usually can fit into an American medium or large on the top. I also sometimes can fit into small. It really depends on the type of shirt. And in the bottom, I range usually from a size 12 to a size 14, uh, smaller in lighter wash jeans and bigger in black jeans for some reason, I don't know. I have a 35 inch waist. I'm around 40 something in the hips. But yeah, let's move on to the next outfit. The next outfit I have is this shirt. I got it in a size large from the regular straight size section of Shein. And it is just this little top with embroidered flowers on it. This isn't going to fit me, spoiler alert. <laughs> and then this skirt, which the only size they had left in it was a 2XL. Um, so I went with it. It is from the Shein Curve line, so we will see how they fit. <laughs> okay, do not be fooled by the fact that I got this buttoned because it's early in the morning when I'm filming this, but when I got the package and it was late at night, I literally couldn't get it buttoned. I also just worked the past two days and when I work, I eat like one meal and then come home and pass out because I work like 12 hour shifts. So I've definitely lost like three or four pounds since the last time I tried this shirt on, but in my normal weight, it does not fit me. I could not 
even get it buttoned up but in these because I'm gonna take now that I got this shirt on though I'm gonna take pictures in it because I am in love with this style but like genuinely it would not button I literally for I filmed a TikTok trying on these clothes and I could not get this shirt buttoned at all like every time I would move it would be it would come unbuttoned <laughs> oh it is so cute though oh the back, oh my god, it is literally adorable. If this came in an extra large and not just a large, I would so get it and wear it all the time. I do think after I get the Yiddies yeeted, this shirt will fit a lot better because literally we are squished into this. I think you can tell from the side. <laughs> but enough with the shirt. The skirt, it definitely like, this skirt has room, besties. This is definitely a very size inclusive skirt and it is so long. Is there supposed to be another button down here? No, it's just supposed to be open like that? I feel like it isn't. I probably should have done this with the last outfit, but here's a close up of the top. Okay, and then the skirt. The skirt is so long and flowy. I'm actually obsessed with the skirt. I have a style with those same sandals. I'm gonna be honest guys, those are the only sandals that I own. Imagine me on the beach. Imagine me on the beach, no. Imagine me on the boardwalk in San Diego. Hey! I would never wear this shirt though because I literally look like, <laughs> oh, this is how I feel in this shirt. <sighs> now hold on, I'm gonna go take some pictures in this shirt before I actually bust out of it like a, like a canister of biscuits and then we'll move on to the next outfit. <laughs> You guys actually can watch me take selfies because your the tripod is attached to my phone tripod and I literally like put it on here. So I don't want the sunglasses. We'll do one second between each photo and we'll do 50 photos. Okay. Oh, I want it closer for sure. Like this, okay. I'm so sorry that you had to witness that. I am very sorry actually. Like genuinely, that was embarrassing for us. <laughs> Let's change. Hold on a second. It's about this many minutes into the video and you look parched. Me, I'm never parched because I have now not one, but two water bottles. Coldest water bottles literally keep your water cold for like 36 hours and they're really cute. I have this blue one and I also have this blue one. Don't ask. <laughs> I will definitely be bringing this one to the beach for me and this one to the beach for my sister so that we all have cold water but we're not sharing water bottles because you know Miss Rona. But in the summertime, it is always important to stay hydrated whether you're at the beach or not. So I will just put a link in the description for you to check out Coldest Water Bottle if you want to. Okay, back to me prancing around in my princess clothes. This next top is from the Daisy line at Shein and we all know that that line runs extremely small but I got this in the biggest size. This is an extra large. So fingers crossed, let's try it on. Um, yeah, so this shirt has some unfortunate gaping, but for like a swimsuit cover up, I think it would be really cute. If I if I didn't have a bandeau top underneath this, I would literally be flashing everyone, which is a problem, but I do think it's really cute if it wasn't in like Korean Asian sizes because we all know that a lot of clothes on Shein are sized in Asian sizing, but the Daisy line specifically is like Korean sizing, which we all know if we've ever shopped on Yes Style, is a lot smaller than regular Asian sizing. I would say the basic conversion is a size smaller. So like a Asian size small is like a US size extra small and Asian size large is a US size medium. I would say with the Daisy line and the Korean sizing that, so like a Daisy size XL would probably be an American size small, which is an issue for me. Once again though, it's really only pulling on my boobs. <laughs> Like everywhere else in this shirt fits perfectly, which is, I don't know. It's frustrating, it's very frustrating. Am I gonna get rid of this shirt? No, I'm gonna save it. Um, because I can see the vision. But let's get out of the shirt and try on one that actually fits us. The next shirt I got is this tank top and this is from the Shein Curve line. This is in a 0XL, so let's just put it on. 
See, this is where it might be discouraging for some people when they don't understand the sizing inconsistencies with Shein because this top is a little gapy on me and it is a 0XL. A 0XL is technically an extra large that is re-patterned to fit a plus size person and not just a straight size pattern XL. Technically this and an XL is the same, but that Daisy shirt was an XL. So if someone was shopping on Shein and they didn't really understand Asian sizes, I feel like they would be confused. The plus size clothing is not Asian sizing on Shein. And I do believe that is because they are made specifically for Shein or they are bought from plus sized clothing creators that do not sell in Asia because there's not a huge plus size. There's not a huge want for plus sized clothes. Okay, that's not correct. There's not a huge market for plus size clothing in Asia. There are people who are plus size who want clothing easily available to them in places like Korea and Japan, but they're just not there yet with like the body positivity movement. Um, so that's why like if, you, if you're if you scared about clothes on Shein, go in the curve section because they're gonna fit more like American sizing. That being said, would this tank top fit someone who usually buys a 0XL at like Target or Walmart? I don't think so. Um, but it fits me, so I'm happy with it. Enough sizing talk, it's kind of confusing. And also, I don't think anyone cares, but here is this top with the beautiful eh, embroidering flowers that remind me of my friend's quinceanera dress from when we were 14 years old. But I don't mind it, I don't mind it. I don't know if this one's going to come with me to San Diego just because I don't usually wear tank tops, but I do think it is a salad option. She cute, she cute or whatever. Okay, we have one last top, which is a tank top and it is this blue floral top. I got this in a size Shein 0XL from the Curve line. Um, I got this because my Instagram theme right now, I'll put a little example up here, is blue and white. So I want some blue and white things to wear in San Diego so that it matches my Instagram theme. So let's try it on. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey guys. Just going for a jog. <laughs> Believe it or not, I actually like this shirt. It's just very booby. But you know, that's fine, that's fine. While I have them, we will have fun with them. <laughs> Stop it, that don't be weird. Anyways, watch how much taller I get when I put on these shoes. These are also from Shein, I got them in a size eight as well. These definitely run small. So if you're gonna get these, size up. <laughs> What was that? Look at how much taller I am. Can you tell? You probably can't tell. Anyways, here's the shirt. You can actually like undo this and like cinch it closed if you don't want any of like your bra showing, which I personally like. But yeah, this is the shirt. This is the last shirt. Let's get into the last item. You guys already know I already have one of these dresses, but I am literally obsessed with the like Shein fake Selkie dresses because as we know, recent controversy, Selkie has been getting scrutiny for their dresses not being worth the money. Some cheap organza fabric that Selkie has put a 250 price tag on when you can get a similar silhouette from Shein for 30 bucks. Let's put her on. I love these dresses. I have nowhere to wear them ever. Never will I ever have anywhere to wear these. Maybe like a Mother's Day brunch, but my mom literally lives five hours away. So will I ever go to a Mother's Day, Mother's Day brunch? I don't think so, but best. This is so cute. I think it even looks cute, like casual with these platform shoes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here's the back. I think the back is so cute as well. Honestly, like it looks really nice. If you wanted to make it more poofy, you could add like a faux bubble hem on the bottom or you could just add like, God, Gemma. Gemma wears them, what are they called? They're like these skirts that you put on underneath Lolita that make things like really poofy. I don't know, I don't wear fancy dresses or anything, but you know, I'll put a picture. I'll put a picture of what I'm talking about. You could wear one of those underneath it to give it more like oomph because it's opposite from Shein. It doesn't have many, many layers of like organza or tulle or anything. I'm also unsure if the arms are supposed to be up like this or if the arms are supposed to be down like this, but I'm gonna wear them up like this because that feels right to me. Let's go back to other Sammy who was sitting in the room with the cool lighting to end this video. <laughs> I'm just gonna go continue being a princess. <laughs> 
and we're back in my bedroom. Yes, this is my bedroom. If you have not seen my bedroom makeover video, I will also link it in the description below because it's a really good video and I, and I literally did all of this in the video. So yeah, go see that if you're confused. But yeah, thanks again to Shein. Of course, like I said in the beginning, or maybe I didn't say in the beginning, I'll be linking all those pieces down below if you want to check them out for yourself. Um, and I also have a coupon code that I will link in the, that I, I also have a coupon code that I'll put in the description if you want to use to save some money to get some cute summer clothes. So yeah, if this is your first time seeing our videos, please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. If you actually like this video, please like it by clicking the thumbs up. If you are subscribed already and you have not yet, click the bell below to turn on my notifications so you're notified when I post. You can actually enjoy my content, join the party. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Mwah! Ah.